Hi everyone, welcome to The Pen Habit. I'm Matt Armstrong and welcome back to another paraphernalia episode. Now, I don't do a lot of episodes about the paraphernalia and accessories around using pens because, frankly, I don't use a lot of accessories. I don't have a lot of them, and it's not an area that I'm generally all that interested in. Um, I tend to find something that works for me, and I use it until something else happens along, but I don't go out of my way to find this stuff. So when my pen case is full, I look for a new pen case. When my pen wallet is starting to fall apart, I try to find a new pen wallet. When I've got pens all over my desk, I try to find a pen stand. But it's not an area that I'm fascinated by. Um, I, I carry my pens with me to work every day. Um, usually I take between 10, 3 and 10 pens with me. Um, I, I recently took a, um, a 10 pen case with me to work, and it had a lot of very, very nice pens in there. It had kind of my top 10 in there. Um, and I lost it. I left it somewhere in a meeting room. I couldn't find it anywhere. I had no idea where I had left the thing, the case. You know, it was probably, I had to guess, five to $6,000 worth of pens that disappeared in, in an instant. Um, I did eventually find it, so everyone take a deep breath and relax. Um, and I learned a lesson, which is, A, if you're not willing to lose your pens, don't take them with you. Leave them at home. And B, maybe carrying 10 isn't the best idea. I had one of those Aston uh, leather 10 pen cases. When I, was in the D- when I was at the DC show in 2015, I met the founders of Knockco, Brad and Jeff. Uh, Brad is, if you are big into the community, Brad Dowdy of the Pen Addict site and podcast. Um, Jeff, whose last name I'm not even going to try to pronounce, so I apologize. You can look it up on the Knockco website, but it starts with the letter B. Um, uh, does a lot of the manufacturer. He is a seamstress, seamster, excuse me, not not seamstress, and uh, and has been making bags and and things like that, you know, for, for many, many years. They founded the company in 2013 and uh, have since become pretty well known as makers of really high quality pen cases, among other things. They also have their own brand of paper products and they have cases that specifically hold field notes and other things like that, passport holders and the, and the like. Um, when I was at the DC show, Brad passed along both a three pen case. This is the lookout case. So it's a, you know, kind of a flap, tuckable flap case for three pens and the six pen brass town pen roll case. So I want to walk you through both of these pens or both of these cases, tell you a few things about them. Um, and then uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway on penhabit.com of the six pen brass town case. So uh, let's start with the six pen case and we'll go from there. So the cases come in a whole variety of colors and all of their materials are made out of this, it's, I believe it's called um, tactical canvas. Uh, it, it's basically the same material that you would make like a Jansport backpack out of. Uh, very, very tough material. My initial thoughts in seeing this were, that's going to scratch the hell out of my pens. Um, I've been using both of these cases now for quite a long time, and I am thrilled to report that has not been a problem at all. Uh, there's been no scratching at all. Even on my Urushi lacquered pens, um, the, the, this material doesn't scratch them up at all. Um, before we open up this case, uh, the, the seams are just superb. The, the stitching is completely even. I don't know how well you can see that here. Um, and the spacing is perfectly even. Everything is tight and solid and strong. There's no give. Um, like I've, I said, I've had this case for about six months. There's, I've got dog hair on it, of course, because, you know, Luke the dog sheds like a fiend. Um, but I don't, there's been no fraying, no caught zippers, none of that stuff. So the quality of manufacture is really quite superb. Uh, pen case opens up and it's got a double zipper so you could open it up, you know, keep them in the middle if you want to, but I don't. And then inside you've got basically a built-in pen roll. So the, the pen roll holds six um, and you've got the Notco label here, which is nice. 
while the camera tries to focus. Uh, they've done a really nice job in lining all of these, uh, all of the, the materials. So you've got that strong stitching here at the top to keep the, the pen uh, sleeves from, from fraying at all. Uh, really, really nice manufacture. Now this is, the whole pen roll concept is one that I just don't, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> it, it really doesn't. Um, I like, one thing I like about this case is that it takes up very little space. You know, you can hold it in your hand and not worry about dropping individual pens or that sort of thing. But on a day-to-day -day basis, having to roll out the pens to get to them is a little bit much. What I do like about this, though, is in addition to, I'm going to roll this back up and put it in, in addition to the, the pens in the roll, there's a lot of extra space in here. So if you've got some beater pens that you don't necessarily need to separate by the canvas sleeves, you can load them all up in here and carry a whole lot more than six pens. Um, or you can stick other things in here, your car keys or whatever, and your pens will still be protected. So that is a nice thing about this Brass Town case. Quite a, it's it's quite, um, quite roomy aside from the pen roll itself. The pens feel pretty protected. The other nice thing is both... Well, I don't know about Jeff. I would have to assume he's into pens at least a little bit, but I know Brad is. And uh, so both have really been smart about making sure that their pen cases will hold the biggest pens. So this is a an M1000, and, and there is room to, to move around inside this sleeve. Uh, I've, I've yet to come across a pen that will not fit in the sleeves on this case. So that is a really nice thing. Now, the Brass Town case retails for $35, um, which I understand it's, it's handmade here in the U.S. by a very small, I think probably single person production team um, out of great materials, superb craftsmanship. For a pen case that only holds six pens, that does seem a little high to me um, with the understanding that this is a superb quality case though. Um, it, it's something I would be willing to spend if this were the kind of case that worked for, for the way I use pens. Um, it, it, it isn't, but it's still a great case. Okay, so that is the Brass Town six pen pen roll case. This is the Lookout. So it's a three pen case. It's got a sleeve that tucks into a little ring or a little loop here. Again, Manufacturing quality is superb on this. Stitching is completely even all the way around. Very strong, no fraying. Got the little knock co tag here on the edge. Um, one of the things that I like about their cases is that they are not afraid of color. The, the Knocktown guys or Knock Co guys are not afraid of color. And so their cases come in a wide variety of colors. Uh, there's the unicorn barf, which is light blue and pink. There's, you know, green with yellow and green with orange. And they, they like using color in cases, um, which I think is cool. I like this one in particular because it's kind of, you know, it's, it's understated and gray on the outside, but then you open it up, it's like, shazam, orange. Uh, because one of the things about expensive pens is sometimes you don't want them in a flashy case that will draw people's attention. Um, fortunately, I work in a very safe environment. I don't have to worry about theft too much. But if I worked in a place where theft were a problem, I would want a very understated case. And, and so this one kind of fits the bill for me on both sides. It's, it's, it's gray and understated kind of disappear on a desk, but then you open it up and it's, it's nice and bright and shiny. So, um, and I happen to know that Brad really likes orange, so I'm not surprised that they have some pens with orange in them. There are some cases with orange. Uh, this case also fits very large pens. So, for example, I've got a Mont Blanc 149, a Classic Pens LB5, and a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. I will say that the middle slip here is a little bit wider, can hold a slightly larger pen, and the, the outer size, I mean, a Mont Blanc 149 and a Homo Sapiens Bronze Age both fit in here quite nicely. Uh, the other thing I notice is I've actually stopped, I used to clip my pens over the edge of the case. I don't do that anymore. I actually tuck them in on the underside 
I don't know why I do that, but that's just kind of what I, it's, it's easier to get the pens in and out that way. Um, the one thing I will say the kind of downside for this case is if you've got one of these flap type cases, if you've got a very tall pen, um, I have a, a Gamma Supreme that is essentially the size of a small tree um, that it will fit in this middle slot here width-wise, but it's probably out to here. And so you try to fold that over and you just can't. So if you've got really long pens, this flap may not work, may not close all the way for you. Fortunately, on the great, great majority of my pens, I, uh, I slipped that in and we got no problem at all. All right, so this case is $20. Um, it's obviously it's fewer pens, less material, easier construction because you're not doing a pen roll inside of another case. It, this the case is itself. Um, this is what I use to carry my pens to work every day now. So this is my daily carry case. Uh, it replaced the Aston leather case. It replaced um, a couple of other cases that I've tried. Um, I like it because it's very, it's very small, it's very narrow, so it just slips right in my, my uh, I've got a nice sh leather shoulder bag for my laptop and my, my notebooks, and so this just sl slips right in one of the pockets in there. Um, the pens are protected enough. It's, you're not going to get the same level of protection you'd get from a, like a, a box, a pen box, like the Franklin Christoph uh, three pen pen box, where it's got hard edges on the sides and that sort of thing. But it is enough protection that I feel comfortable putting this inside my bag um, and not worrying about these pens too much. So this, this case is actually my, as I've said, my daily carry case. This is what I use every day when I go to work. So that is my kind of review and overview of the Knock Co cases, the Brass Town and the Lookout. Uh, the Brass, both are superbly crafted um, and really wonderfully manufactured out of great materials, nice colors, a wide color selection. Um, in terms of usability, I find the Lookout to be a, a more usable case, but the Brass Town is really nice and has the added feature of extra storage aside from just the pen roll. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, First, I'd recommend you go over to knockco.com to look at their cases. There's, they've got several other cases and a whole variety of colors. And uh, there's, if you follow the Pen Addict podcast at all, you'll probably hear about when new cases, new case designs are coming out. They've always got prototypes here and there. And occasionally, if you go to pen shows and you run into to Brad or Jeff, uh, you'll be able to see prototypes that are coming up of different pen cases that they're looking at. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, leave them here or head over to uh, penhabit.com and leave them over there. You can also email me at penhabit at gmail.com and keep an eye over on penhabit.com in the coming couple of days where a giveaway will start for this pen case without the included pens. I'm sorry, I'm not giving away my entire flock of pelicans. I hate, to, I hate to break your heart, but that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, but we'll be giving away this case with, uh, with um, yeah, I don't know how I was going to finish that sentence. We'll be giving away this case. So huge thank you to Knock Co. for providing these cases for review and for giveaway. And we will see you here next time on The Pen Habit. Have a good one. Bye.